Guy Process Cheese 18 with another FIFA 13 career mode. And uh, we start off the episode with our first match, which is against West Ham, who we played on our first game of the season. I think we drew 1-1 or lost. I can't, can't believe it. It was so long ago. But uh, straight away, we get a good chance with Lehigh there. And Benteke finishes it nicely, but is offside, which is always a shame. Close call, actually. What well, it was a good header, uh, header to get above everyone else. And Albright and Hooper connecting. And Hooper goes narrowly wide. Should have really hit the target from that, from that range. And Albright and Hooper again connect, uh, connecting. Just uh, <coughs> interchanging. And Hooper does unlucky. Hits the post there. Rebounds off Guzan. And uh, West Ham come away with the ball. And another chance here. Carroll on the edge of the box. Some bullet of a shot. Goes narrowly. Um, hits the post. And Albright and Hooper again. Third time lucky. Hooper scores. 1-0, 31st minute, great goal, he should have, should have scored the first two to be honest, but uh, third time lucky as everyone says, and he's finished finished it nicely. Then, um, <clears throat> I just put this, this highlight in, it's really strange actually, West Ham cross it into the box, and it's just, I don't know what Given was doing, he was in the no man's land, but luckily it was offside, it just, it looked like the player in front of him got a little neck and he just dived to nowhere, he just kind of, I don't know what he did, he was just a bit, oh. But luckily it was offside, and that was didn't go against us. Albright and Hooper again connecting to each other, and Hooper goes narrowly wide with the header, and that's how the first half ended. One nil to West Ham. Not a bad at the moment. I mean, <coughs> a win's a win, and we need a win anywhere to, be honest, to get into Euro positions, which we promised our board actually. If you remember, and Given makes a sloppy save. And Andy Carroll's there to tap it in. I mean, he should have held on to that. But anyway, Benteke with a header from a corner. I'm lucky not to score. Guzan, our arch em um, nemesis, who we sold to the West Ham, saved it. Anyway, that's how the match ended. One apiece. A bit of uh, mid-season blues. It just can't, can't get a win, to be honest, at the moment. But anyway, off that subject. Uh, Tottenham have come back with an offer for Corker. And we're not going to buy him. He's just he's not going to move. But um, Barcelona with Isaac Quenta. We've accepted him, he's now joined the club. But uh, Adrian, we cannot sign, he's just too expensive, we don't have enough uh, cash to bring him in. So he's lost. But um, Southampton uh, are offering to get Hutton, and they, I do a counter-offer and they accept that counter-offer. So uh, 1.2 million, Hutton has left. Uh, Andy Marshall, one of our, well, just reserve keepers, never been used, he's retiring at the end of the season. I thought I could get about 10,000 more. Just any bit of money, it helps. But um, they come back and they, they say he's not worth it. So he's, he's staying at the club until he, until he leaves. So, But I get a really attractive offer, actually, from Arsenal to manage them. But because I am committed to Aston Villa's cause, I am staying with them to the very bitter end. So I'm... <laughs> Great, well, ungratefully, I say no, because I, 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 it was a good offer, but, you know, I'm not going to do it. But anyway, first match against, no, not first, the second match against Newcastle, yeah, uh, who we played against earlier in the season and lost quite badly, actually. But um, so had some close chances there to go ahead, unlucky not to score, um, but a bit of sloppy defending here. Bard does well to capitalise on it, and he finishes it nicely in the corner. Sloppy defending, shouldn't, that shouldn't have happened. Should have really cancelled them out, but it went in, and what can you do? But anyway, that's how the first half ended. They did score a goal, actually, but Fraps crashed on me, so that wasn't shown, but it was 2-0. It was just a penalty, it wasn't anything to celebrate about. But um, Bent goes close there to uh, getting clawing a ball, goal back from the corner. Vlark, it's a lovely header in the back of the net. I think it's first or second goal for me. A lovely goal. And it's worthy of the uh, everyone to get it in. One of my four good centre-backs now that I've signed. So we, he's he put his place there to stay in the first team. But Newcastle again on attack. With uh, Bar passes it into... I can't even know that Is that Cissé? Ranger. Passes it into Ranger and he just out-muscles up my defence. And slots it home. Sloppy goal to concede. I mean, most are for me to be honest. But Enzovia capitalises on a Newcastle player, and Ben is there to slot it home. What a finish! What a finish! <laughs> Lovely goal. He's getting into some form again after his injury. Lovely finish there outside the box. And um, but Newcastle didn't do very well to help themselves there. They just gave it to me almost. But um, again, Ben is breaks away from Conoscini. 
and comes in and puts in a pretty bad cross to be honest I mean no one's getting on the end of that but Newcastle clear it right to Aston Villa player Villa gets it back in Ben takes a touch in the back of the net three all comeback is complete thank you Darren Ben he oh, I, I can't see losing him to be honest unless I would get some player ten times better than him I wouldn't sell him because he's just he is some player I enjoy playing with him so much and it was a lovely finish um, to equalise actually but sadly that's how the match ended three apiece <clears throat> nothing's coming from that match a bit of, like I said a bit of mid-season blues you can't get a win anywhere but anyway this is um, a squad report I thought you might want to see it because it's about midway through the season how players are progressing it's going too quickly for me to mention everyone but you can obviously see Danny Hurley ho he's going up by a lot every match he's going up by about one uh, overall which is really good actually uh, Dyer, our new signing, he hasn't gone up by any obviously because he's just signed and he's 25. So, my players are young which is good so uh, we can progress very nicely. Bent there is going up, Hooper going up by uh, quite a lot on his key at <coughs> attributes. Uh, Isaac Quater we just bought, uh, no on loan he's gone up. Uh, Delph and Benteke have gone up by all Brighton turning into a great player for me actually. Kieran Clark again another good player. Agon Blahor has gone up a bit. Dunn is just decreasing rapidly. I'm going to have to sell him. Because, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, no one's going to want him. But hopefully I'll get a little bit of money from him. And these are just going to the players who I don't use very much or at all. Warnock just came back on lo from loan. Um, and these are the loanee players. Matt lecoin has gone up by quite a lot. Uh, Gardner as well has gone up by quite a lot. It's good to... Hopefully when we get these back they can be used in my squad. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, please like, favourite and subscribe and until next time, peace.